I would have never thought that I could get into a fan company, to be honest. And in the end, I, I did get into a fan company and five offers. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy D, director of product from drnancyd.com. I help people transition from worker bee to a product manager and business leader. Today, we had the pleasure to have my student Al to share with you how he became a product manager at Facebook and he also got five product manager offers during COVID. We're going to share with you all the secret behind the scenes, how to prepare for Facebook interview, how to increase the success rate, and what specific strategies and secret you should use so that you can achieve your dream offer as well. To learn the most effective way to become a product manager, you should check out this free webinar. We talk about how I got four product manager jobs within 60 days during the pandemic. If you like any of the tips we share with you today, please smash the like button and share this video with other aspiring product managers. So let's get started to learn about Facebook product managers. Today, I had the pleasure to have my student Al join us. He is a Facebook product manager, and he has a lot to share with you guys regarding how to get a job in fan companies like Facebook, how to get prepared, and also what his advice to you if you just get started with your product management career. Hi, Al. How's it going? Hi, how are you? I'm doing very well. Thank you so much for joining us to share your knowledge. Thank you for uh, having me. Great. Do you want to quickly introduce yourself? And as sure. we know, you joined fan company. Want to hear all your uh, experience getting into fan? Sure. So my name is Al. I've had a little over 10 years experience in uh, developing and launching technology products. I've been trying to get into fan companies for over a year now. Um, I've tried several other programs like Product Gym, but didn't achieve the same results as uh, Dr. Nancy Lee's program. In fact, I was overwhelmed. And at the end of my job search, um, after entering uh, Nancy Lee's program, I ended up with five offers. So I've had like several product roles in my career. They all seem to fit in with my knack for machine learning. Um, in my most recent role, I worked in a team that tries to understand how people move in physical space and big box retail stores. Um, so with the current situation or the speed of innovation, I stand by my choice in uh, being a product manager and building exciting products with cutting edge technology that help address problems for consumers. Um, I love finding simple, elegant solutions for complex technical problems while motivating the team and driving business impact. So if you love finding simple, elegant solutions and doing the same thing uh, for solving problems for people, then Dr. Nancy Lee's program uh, will definitely get you on track to being the best product manager in the market. Awesome. Thank you, Al. Congrats, by the way, five offers within like, like three months. That's very fast. And also congrats uh, or join Facebook. Would you like to share any secrets? First of all, what the interview process of Facebook? Can you tell sure, us more? Sure. Uh, a high level overview is, um, it's like any other tech company out there. It's like the usual. You're going to submit your resume um, either through uh, network or referrals. Um, I just submitted a resume and applied um, the next step of that would be uh, HR phone screen. That's the first interview with HR. Um, and then I moved on to the PM phone screen, which was um, the two interviews that I uh, embarked on. Um, and then the last one was also a phone interview. And that was more of a chemistry test. Um, mind us that we're just trying to come out of COVID. So everything was done remotely and by phone. Um, each interview that you'll be working in um, at Facebook will be taking about 45 minutes and um, mm -hmm. follow one of the following themes. Uh, we've got the product sense, which is where you'll be tested on product design and strategy. Execution, where you'll be tested on uh, data analysis and um, prioritization skills. And the third one is like leadership and drive, where you'll be asked to demonstrate um, uh, how you can be an empathetic leader. Some of the product sense revolves around how you identify who to build for, what are their needs and how you focus on creating value and impact. Um, some execution uh, questions will be revolving around how you set the right goals for the product and measure against them and how you identify frame and evaluate trade-offs, which is very important in product management field. Um, and some of the leadership uh, questions will be revolving around how you earn trust or take ownership and also how you process and grow from past experiences failures or successes. And um, so I also had a technical uh, interview uh, because the position that I did take up is a technical uh, position. 
Mm -hmm. uh, I was asked to dive deeper into technicalities of my most recent job. Um, and this was more of a discussion of certain builds um, and dependencies of uh, uh, products that I have uh, built in my uh, most recent job. Awesome, thank you. So among all different kinds of interviews, sounds like you have four types of interviews. So which one do you think is hardest and how would you prepare for those interviews? And especially as a product manager at Facebook, I know it's very hard to get in. The chance of getting in is at less than 1%. So tell us your secret. Um, so to answer your first question, which one was hardest for me? It was definitely the technical one. It was quite technical, um, but I loved it. And I did it with passion and a smile on my face. However, to prepare or address your second question, how I prepared was basically this program, the Dr. Nancy Lee program helped me solidify my um, product knowledge and brought out the experience, the best way it can be presented in an interview. Uh, the coursework was well thought through and the time to value was indeed very quick. Um, if you follow the exercises, attend the classes and watch the videos, I assure you, you'll be well prepared for even the toughest questions. Um, the following is what I did as well. So what I did was I dove deep into um, product and organization. So as you probably uh, figured out from like the examples that I've uh, told you about earlier is that you can't become a PM at Facebook without being familiar with the company's products. So it's good to have an account, play with it a little, and um, you know, you'll need to do some homework. The next thing is brush up on product fundamentals. Uh, if you're already an experienced PM, then this step doesn't really apply to you. But uh, you know, just to reiterate, uh, Nancy's um, uh, coursework provides a great subsidy in gaining this knowledge, regardless of what level of uh, professional you are. Um, you need to learn and understand a consistent method for answering PM interview questions. There's plenty of frameworks that um, Nancy has taught us in the, the uh, coursework as well, as mentioned. Um, Facebook will ask you certain questions that fall into this category, like, uh, and also behavioral design, strategy, estimation, and uh, metric questions as well. So approaching each question with a, with a predefined method or the framework will enable you to build strong interview habits. Awesome, thank um, you. Yeah. Let's also give the audience a reminder, we do have lots of free training on YouTube about different kinds of framework. You mm -hmm. guys should check out this video about how to answer how to design an app for blind people. So feel free to check out this video and learn our free framework starting from today. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so um, uh, another great thing that I did was I, I practiced by myself. So I did several recordings every day to make sure that I had the flow and um, I was most understandable in the best way. Um, and then I also tried to find people that were experienced PMs to mm -hmm. also mock with. Um, and you should also try this and practice with experienced PMs as much as possible. They'll be able to give you much more accurate feedback than friends and peers. So if you know a product manager who can help you out, that's fantastic. But like for most of us, um, it was tough to find the right connections to make this happen. This is where the mentorship program at Dr. Nancy Lee's um, uh, uh, program will definitely help you. Getting the job was step one. I wish I would have had this uh, mentorship uh, to help me excel through my previous jobs as well, so. Cool, yeah. thank you. Yeah, if people don't know about our mentorship program is that we recently launched a VIP mentorship program, which I have a uh, lots of connections from like fan company, Google, Facebook, lots of my students. They volunteer, such as Al yourself, you volunteer to mentor my other students. Um, so therefore our alumni network become much stronger. Yes, um, I encourage everybody to come back and, and help more. Awesome. So let's do this. I also have uh, another follow up question regarding sure. what do you wish to know before you become a product manager? I know you represent a group of people who aim to join like Facebook, Google, this company. Now you get here. If you can look back, is there anything you wish I known earlier? You could done better so that people can follow your path as well. Sure. As I mentioned earlier, getting the job was step one. I yeah. wish I've, I wish I would have had a a program like this that would help me excel in my previous jobs. Um, when I first started my PM job, I had so much anxiety and doing well and didn't know how to conduct my job the best way possible. I wish I would have found a mentor earlier to help my career and excel it in a way where um, I would feel so much self-accomplishment. But uh, back then there were hardly any programs that were like this. Um, product management has been evolving over time. When I embarked on this career, uh, there were certain frameworks that I wish that, you know, Nancy would have uh, 
provided for me uh, back then, if we're looking um, in the past. Um, there's frameworks right now that is part of Nancy's program that are really, really important in uh, succeeding. Um, this would have springboarded my knowledge and understanding in this field much faster if I had those um, frameworks. Um, I would have had ammunition for me to make better decisions on the job as well. Although I learned on the job, I'm sure that a program like this would have been handy to enable me to build better products over the course of my career. 10 to, 5, 10 to 15 years back, if I'm looking back, coming from a person who had no experience at the time, I could have used a good mentorship program as well. This would have given me great pointers in how to answer interview questions better and what tools to bring out of my toolbox um, when faced with different situations in a normal day of work for product managers. Awesome. Thank you for sharing with all your wisdom. Now, one last question is, now you're starting a new job in Facebook. What would be the, the new ex career expectations you want to see yourself growing into once you join Facebook? Or any exciting news or product you want to share with us? Sure. So um, my career has spanned over a long, long uh, period of time. Um, I've been a, a principal a PM in in different companies and um, that's the highest level that an individual contributor um, could be at um, i would like to see myself in a more managerial position where i would lead a team of uh, senior pms and pms to continuously build products that will um, tend to our everyday lives and solve problems for customers and bring huge impact back to the companies that i work for in the future Awesome, awesome. Thank you. This is also one of the reasons that related to why you want to volunteer to be a mentor for others, because I see helping yes, I, grow is part of the quality of growing into a leader. Yes, no, definitely. Helping um, people, you know, see their potential mm -hmm. is um, definitely one of my goals in life, because um, I would have never thought that I could get into a fan company, to be honest. Really? And this program really changed that perception for me. And in the end, um, I, I did get into a fan company and I'm really grateful for it. And uh, that's why I wanna pay it forward and continuously mentor anybody that thinks that they can't do it and show them that it can be done. Thank you for sharing with me. I was so uh, touched when you said that you never thought you could get in because you're always being perceived as someone who's very confident Thank you for sharing with us. And final sure. message to everyone who's watching this video is that lots of time people tell you, or you saw you cannot achieve that goal. No, tell them no. All you need to do is uh, focus on what the best strategy to get there and never give up. Thank you so much for sharing with us, Al. Yeah, you thank know? you for your, thank you everyone. Awesome. Do you have any last minutes, like a tips and summary for, for all the audience who's watching us right now? Sure. Um, for everybody that's watching and aspiring to be a product manager, chin up, work hard, and you'll eventually get there. Continuously making wonderful products to change uh, our lives for the future. God bless. Thank you, thank you so much. All right, so this is our uh, sequence interview of product managers in different top tech companies and feel free to comment down below and let me know who is the next company you wanna to talk to regarding product management. Thank you so much for joining us. And also thank you so much, Al, for joining us, sharing all your wisdom. All right, have a good day. See you guys, bye.